welcome back to another episode of the ripple effect as you see by the intro timeline we are getting to work on the dome the best part is even more work has been done since uh you guys saw that time lapse this is like four days after that time lapse and i've had like two stream days since then uh yeah i've been doing some work in the dome so okay let's explain the kelp as an easy way to fill get, get out of swim mode to fill the dome with water <laughs> remember this was all one higher blocking all the water from coming in so what i did is i put a floor of netherrack at this height and uh filled it in all the way across broke the walls down to one more layer it then filled with water broke the netherrack back out i got a time lapse of that um it didn't turn out to it's it's super dark that's the worst part so basically everything above the dome is falling water so i put kelp on the surface of the dome and i know it's it, it's all not going to grow all the way to the top but if i can chill out and work in the area until most of it's grown to the top and then break all the kelp and then break all the walls down i'm hoping that 99 percent of it should fill in solid water um it really doesn't have to be solid water, but I plan on putting kelp, or not kelp, but coral and stuff above the dome so it'll look pretty and we have fishes floating by. Um, from inside the dome, that might be a little bit of a problem. Let's let's go. We, we need one of these for sure. Let's, let's head down. And the way down is through the beacon. Come down here. So what I've been working on in stream of stuff is evening out the walls. Ooh, there was some snap crackle in my ear. My headphones must have little, done a little pop. You can see this wall. I've cleaned this wall up pretty well. Uh, and I started working on this wall. And that's what we were working on in stream today. I still have the other side to do. I'm going to need more night vision potions, though, I think, to get this done. So, yeah, I have to get that done before we start uh, really doing any kind of building because it's just so dangerous in here. Um, yeah, like really, really dangerous. I'm, I'm kind of surprised I didn't die on stream. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to keep working on cleaning the walls up. If you look where the cobblestone is, that's going to be the official wall that we're going to have coming down. So really, a lot of these insets are pushed back one or two blocks too far, and that's fine, but that's one of the reasons why I want to clean it up. So when I'm building a wall and stuff, I don't have random mobs spawn and uh, jump at me and such. <laughs> that, that would be dumb. So yeah, I'm going to work on cleaning up the rest of the walls. Maybe we'll work on getting the bottom um, prepared, because remember, it's not going to be bedrock. Um, I, I want to light this up and I'm probably going to carpet it and I'm probably going to do a little bit of a fog effect with some really cool color. Like I don't want to use just like blue or black or anything like that. I don't want it to make it look like it's a natural fog effect. I want it to make it look unnatural, but it requires me to play around a little bit. So yeah, I'm hoping by the end of this episode, this dome area is officially ready to go ahead and start building. <laughs> Because uh, I've been really looking forward to this. It's super dark looking through there, though. And I, I don't know if it's the kelp or what. Hopefully it gets a little bit brighter. We'll put some sea pickles and stuff up there and everything like that. Yeah. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to have a clip f with Carl. We're going we're gonna to be moving some uh, piglins for his gold bartering. I'm going to try to work him into giving me some, uh, what is it called, uh, spectral arrows. I really want to play with some of those. So we'll see if we can't con him into handing some of those over to make up for the fact we got to help him get some in place. I really liked this last little bit of tunnel. Is this like what you're theming the entire season around? Yep. Yep, like. my base and everything. And I thought this was a really cool idea just to like have it, you know, instead of having it, have it, yeah, having it flat, is to have it sort of. Yeah, I don't like flat. Sticky out here. Yeah. But it's nice and then have go you down into have you thought um, about hanging it over the side a little bit kind of like this it's side. Mm, that's on, not a bad idea right? yeah on both sides this is that. glass isn't it yeah 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 
to have it hanging over the glass like it's really leaves. You're basically doing the same thing I would do with leaves, but with... Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay, that's a cool idea. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. I've got so much tunnel to do, as you've seen. <laughs> yeah. You're the, probably the <laughs> longest tunnel I've had to walk. And walking yeah. to the Wither Skeleton Farm is a decent trek for me. I think last season I had like a really long one as well. It seems to be where I choose to put bases. <laughs> Your bases are not part of the map choosing process or seed choosing process. No. All right, so what we Recording. got going on? <clears throat> I'm assuming <clears throat> we got to get over here and then yep. drop piglins into these holes right yep. here. That won't be too hard. Which I'm thinking like rails. Oh, you want them in minecarts. Well, I don't want them in minecarts, but I thought that might be the easiest way of doing it. I was going to do uh, like tunnels with a trap door. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, one person can run through the tunnel if a piglin's chasing oh, them. Trap door here, trap door there. Well, you'd only There's have one, one trapdoor. Yeah. Will they fall in one? Mm-hmm. Okay. They might need nudging, yeah, but that's why we got two of us. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's got the gold on can do the nudging from behind I and mean, get them in there. I mean, this wall is basically just to protect me from hogs. <laughs> yeah. My iron wall. Uh, trapdoors, trapdoors, trapdoors. I, 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 that's <laughs> still what? didn't. I just still didn't pick it up. Oh. <laughs> Why well, you, you have like enemy territory here, go. man? There I'm like, go. how am I gonna get boots off without dying here? I don't have a netherite chest plate anymore. <laughs> um, I want the XP because I'm mm. cheap. I have 102 levels, and I went to pick up the XP. <laughs> um. Uh, ooh, yeah, we got, only want one. You got That's some gold. I have some gold, yeah. We could lure um, them close with gold. Push him towards me. He'll hit me and he'll fall in. Yeah! <laughs> that was a lot easier than I imagined. Holy cow, there's so many of them. Push him towards me? Yeah! <laughs> This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. This is a lot e I thought I'd need you here. <laughs> Um, um, I, I really um, don't. Um. <laughs> hey, 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 we got payments worked out here, man. <laughs> you see, your payment is because you came up with a smart idea that I didn't even think of, which was luring them with gold. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the only reason I came up with that is because I didn't feel like dying this episode. <laughs> okay, right. so you're asking how this works. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you'd usually do, which I'm not going to do now because I want to do it on camera, uh, when I go back to me talking, uh -huh. is there'll be a shulker box of gold ingots that you put on here. Mm -hmm. That will then go into the minecart. When the minecart's full, it'll go all the way around and drop it off, all four of them. Uh -huh. When the minecart gets to this end, that light there will turn on. Okay. Once that turns on, you press this button, and what it does is it pushes the piston down and breaks the shulker box. The shulker box comes back into here. And also, the system dispenses one gold ingot to each of the piglins. And then mm -hmm. from then, it's just automated until it runs out of gold. Okay. All the hoppers fill up downstairs. Cool. That's how it works. So if you come in here, I, 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 I showed redstone. Redstone. Come and see redstone. <laughs> Carl did redstone. Red, look redstone. <laughs> this is a this is a thingy. And then there's a there's a. There's I a like thingy your mabobbers. Mabobbers, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there's a thingy down there. Yep, yep, yep. Minecart, and then there's a gold reset line, which is the button that I showed you, which is here, that goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then there's a non-stackable item sorter over there that sorts out the shulker box from the gold when it comes through that hopper. 
Okay. So this has been the last two days of my life. Basically. Fine. And then on the on the other side, there's an observer dropper circuit to put the, you know, the shulker box back in that barrel. But yeah. yeah. This is how it works. I'm very proud that I did red, sir. You so, should be. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to put... Let me get a stack of gold out of this box. Because I don't want to run the whole thing right now. All right. I'm, I'm oh. going to hit the record button one more time, Carl. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Those, got, those guys got gold. Those guys got gold. Oh, my. Hey, hey you're still broke. What, why is it broke? I mean, look at this. It's not going to go into hopper. <laughs> you gotta use blocks, man. Blocks. Can't use pains. Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna grab that. <laughs>food i have these lovely pork chops how many would you like two Shh. little more three little more five whole box a whole box a whole box M minus the five yeah <laughs> a whole box <laughs> cool i shall um, get that for you uh, and I, one I, stack I, of spectral arrows i i, I will grind these I'm not going to say that. <laughs> These yeah. guys will, will get you some spectral arrows with, within a matter of hours, probably. I was going to say, so. that one guy gave me 11 spectral arrows that one time, so I'm yeah. pretty sure it's going to be easy to get those. I mean, if we go down here, there's probably like... <laughs> there's probably already a stack. In here. I mean, there's 23 there. There's 11 there. I mean... There's 23 here. Yeah, there's 10 there, so that's... 43? Whatever. I'm not oh. in any rush for any of this stuff. Yeah. I can, I'll, I'll get you a box of pork chops and I'll get you a few stacks of petrol arrows as well. Sweet. That'll any, hold me any... out on food because I'm desperate for food. I can't keep eating fish. It's, my... it's, it's not good, is it? <laughs> my uh, big ugly farm. Uh, yeah. Raid farm. It killed me twice today. Ooh. Luckily, I had the uh, totems of undying, but I couldn't get my health quick enough because yeah. I kept getting low on food. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. That is the worst. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, about yeah, hooking you, up we... a health beacon over there. Yeah, probably a good idea. But uh, that that uh, choker box of pork chops will do you for a while, I think. Yeah. All and right. This is all now working. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your help, Mr. Duds versus. No problem. It was fun seeing one of these in person because I haven't gotten to play with piglins yet. There will be a time. Yeah, I just don't really know when. Fun. And you got to see me fail at Redstone a multitude of times. <laughs> I was saying multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, man. All right. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Taking a quick break from the base. I wanted to come over here. Carl mentioned he had bought some of our uh, stock. 
So I was going to restock it real quick. Also, he suggested I add another item. So yeah, we're selling name tags. Two diamonds for four. I think that's a decent price. We'll find out. See if people buy it. But I wanted to go ahead and restock. Oh, sold two. It looks like one of them was Link. I might have to go find another book here in a bit. Um, and emeralds. There we go. Making a little bit of diamonds, aren't we? It's nice. But yeah, I'm going to restock the shop and then we're going to go ahead and get back to the dome. It, it's officially time we, uh, we drop the walls and, uh, start terraforming and making things pretty. I'm pretty excited. All right, we're back. And if you look closely, yes, we have a dome. I went ahead and cleared out all the walls, cleared out all the kelp. Um, I, I did accidentally break the glass in a couple spots, so we need to make some more blue glass. But yeah, now comes the uh, very hard <laughs> and, and uh, painful part of landscaping this to look more natural <laughs> again. So... I'm probably start oh, this side. This side worries me. This is going to be so hard. Probably just dig some stone out and let things start to fall a little bit. No, I really can't do that, can I? This side might... I don't want it to go too far. I'm okay with it overlapping part of the dome. Like, overlapping to here. But I don't want it overlapping so far it's, like, out to here. Because that's just going to leave a giant, uh, dead spot. Let's see, can we get some air by doing this? I don't want to fall out of the washroom. Yeah, you can see when I was cleaning up, messes messes were made, but we're still safe down here. I don't I haven't had any mobs really spawning. At least that I could see. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some landscaping, at least get the sea, or not the sea, the sand under the sea and then we'll come back and we'll get some uh coral and everything all the coral we removed we're gonna put back so it's gonna feel very natural but yeah let me let me go grab a bunch of sand to get started all right guys so i've done some terraforming i shouldn't say terraforming landscaping but i haven't done any i haven't done any of the uh kelp and i've left this giant cliff here because i think i have an idea for this but I kind of want to wait we're gonna gonna light it up a little bit for us we also need to put this glass back but yeah you could say uh, it's a lot of random um yeah at least it's mostly covered a miss a spot back there um yeah and, and swimming around I can still uh, still fill a couple spots <laughs> The water didn't fully form like I'll be swimming and then dunk I get jerked down I'm like oh no real quick we're going to do that and then there's another one you can see like right here for some reason it keeps dropping me oh I need air All right. that should be enough there we go so yep our dome is good now. Let's. I've realized I have not shown you guys. Uh, trying to do it kind of slowly so you don't get nauseous and sick. But <laughs> yeah, this is kind of it. Um, we'll be working on the inside hopefully by next episode. And real quick, before we end the episode, I want to run back to the shops again. I have one more item I want to add if I can swim up this water stream. Alright guys, so we're back in the shopping district. And I know my sales here have not been uh, too hot. I want to say Carl's been checking. Let's see what our uh, total is. Yeah. Not super hot, but the server's been a little slow lately. Not a lot of people have been getting on, so that's more than likely what 
That's to deal with it. Let's go upstairs and check our cut from uh, the rocket shop. Jimbo usually puts it in my desk right here. Hey, okay, not bad, not bad. I will take it. You know, I don't think Jimbo's using uh, his creeper farm that I helped him make. I might just let him know uh, I don't need a cut from the rocket shop anymore. <laughs> Since I'm sure he's getting his gunpowder from his witch farm, which is definitely outproducing our creeper farm. As crazy as that sounds, it is. But there's one item I added in here to go with the name tags that I really kind of want to check on to see if anything happened with. So I had a, I had a couple extra nether ingots or netherite ingots, and uh, I, I figured why not? Let's just throw them in there to see what happens. <laughs> they sold out already. Uh, I'm assuming it was Link. Not bad. Has, has anything else sold? No, nothing else sold. Two diamonds might be a little too much. I might lower this to one diamond. Um, I'll give it the week. If we don't sell anything with a week, I think I'm going to lower it to one. Because um, it's... I mean, I'm, I'm getting them for emeralds for my villagers. So, you know what? We'll do that now. I'll do that now. I won't do it in the episode. I'll do it as soon as we end it because we're getting kind of long. We need to go ahead and end it now. Um, yeah, guys. Been an awesome episode. Got a lot of work done. I'm super excited to finally get to work in the uh, dome next episode. I don't know what it's going to be like. I haven't thought much past. I want to build in a dome under the ocean. So we'll, we'll figure that all out next episode but yeah if you liked it hit the like button subscribe if you want some more and like always guys have a good one talk to you later bye